Hey guys, okay, so I'm back and I cannot be in here long, so I'm going to make this really fast and then I'm going right back to my computer to do what I need to do. Um, okay, so you don't need to yell at anybody, literally. Um, yelling at someone um, may not be the best method to get someone to understand what you're trying to say. However, that person may be understanding whether you yell or if you don't. But this video was literally meant for good listeners. Depict on the type of person that you are trying to speak to. Um, situations are different, but at the end of the day, no one should be yelled at, okay? There are some times where people are out of order and if you yell at them, you know, you will get their attention, but it's only going to make it worse. However, um, in certain situations, it doesn't according to if that person is a good listener or not. If you yell at someone to get them to understand a point that you're trying to make, you could literally get them to not want to interact with you at all because that is a little bit too hostile and too pushy. It's not um, necessarily um, going to make the situation work, you know, because of that person is now wanting to be away from you because it's not, it's not really anything that... Um, going to nourish them from within. So it, even if you are a full-grown adult and or a teenager, um, you are at the age now or you are at the moment to where you are already grasping um, a person's tension and you're able to identify um, what type of spirit is operating there, okay? whether you want to call your spell, yourself spiritual or non-spiritual. Um, but it doesn't take a rocket science to um, understand that a person is trying to get a message across and how that person who is delivering the message, um, how they are feeling, you know, or the person who is delivering the message are able to depict how you feel. Um, a good listener is waiting for you to say whatever you want to say to them in a way for them to understand it. This does not mean that you need to raise your voice. It does not mean that you need to threaten. It does not mean that you need to pick or say things that is going to make them understand um, no matter how you say it. You know, it matters how you say it um, to anyone. Haven't you had a situation um, before where you're talking to your child or maybe you have had or seen situations to where uh, a parent is talking to their child a little bit rough um, about cleaning up their mess or um, stop playing so much or putting this down or not bothering with certain things they're not supposed to be bothering. But if they were at a school, the school teacher or the staff or instructors aren't talking to your child like that because they know that once you raise your voice, you could literally shut down a person's mind and they don't know how to react properly because they see how improperly you're acting. And they know that if they follow in those same footsteps, there could be consequences, which wouldn't be fair because you have now demonstrated to them how to act. Knowing that they are children, yes, people know better, but they are children and they don't even know the full concept of how to um, react in ways that is going to make the situation better um, based on the performance demonstrated around them. So good listeners, whether a child is um, 
all the way there or not, um, yelling is not going to make the situation work any more different than that. Like literally, um, there is a song that Stevie Wonder has called That Girl. And there is a line in that lyric where it says, um, if I can look it up, let me find out exactly what he says. Um, let me see. Stevie Wonder, that girl lyrics. Um, let's see. That girl. He says, okay, it says, she says her love has been crying out, but her love hasn't, but her lover hasn't heard. Check this out. But what she doesn't realize is that I've listened to every word. That's why I know I tell that I love her, that I want her. See what I'm saying? Stevie Wonder wrote that song back in, I believe, the 70s. And some people, you know, they like they like to say that, you know, um, women like to like for just someone to listen to what she has to say. And then you have um, some men who really don't pay attention to what women have to say. But some men are good listeners. So raising the voice and being, you know, getting all upset. Some people have to realize that some people are literally good listeners. And they hear everything that you say. So you really may not even have to yell at that person may is not even the answer you don't have to literally yell at that person and that's just not for relationships that's just like everywhere that you go and i feel bad for some of the parents who whip their children at home because they spend more time yelling at them knowing that yelling is not going to make it work when you take your time out and talk to that person the way that you want to be talked to. Because I'm pretty sure you don't want to be yelled at. Um, you know, you're going to help them heal. It is 100% therapy. Yelling at them is going to cause them to need therapy. And it's going to make the situation worse between the relationship between you and your child. Or your spouse. Or your family member. Or anyone around you in general. So you don't really necessarily have to yell at a person to get someone to, especially a good listener. Now, I've seen some people who weren't good listeners. Well, then we already know why that's happened because of how they were raised. The people they were around did not demonstrate to them the proper way of speaking or getting a message across to someone. Which is not, you know, um, something that, you know, we haven't seen uh, or not used, we're not used to seeing, but it's literally out there. So when you're at work, for instance, um, when you know you have, when you have a good listener who is literally a good worker who listens, and you can tell that that person is a good listener, but you see that that person is not understanding something, or maybe you ask them to do a task, and they seem to not have gotten it yet, but you know that they are a good listener then that means that you have to find a way without being smart because that's a good listener and they know when you're trying to be what? They know when you're trying to use or be smart enough or sarcastic so you don't want to run that person away. So don't do it like that. Maybe if you would have developed a better strategy to get your information across to them, you wouldn't need that person to 
be reminded about what you wanted them to do from the jump. If you've reminded them well enough at all, you probably have told them to do a task, but maybe you're not um, wording things right the correct way. So think about yourself. Now, if you think about yourself and you want someone to yell at you and do all of that, then that means your whole entire um, system needs to be changed. Your persona, um, you know, your lifestyle may not fit their lifestyle. I'm not saying that their lifestyle is more better than yours, but that person's lifestyle is the proper way. And um, you may need to develop, you know, a better way of getting your message across to that person. Because yes, there are a lot of people who are very angry and there are a lot of people who um, are you're backing down when it comes to explaining something because that's the way they grew up or this is the way they feel like this is the best way of um, getting their point across. Um, not necessarily because they tell you, um, you know, at work or at school, you know, you got to understand um, a lot of children go home, well, they come to school every day, they learn the proper way of speaking and how to treat people and not yelling and not using profanity. But when they get home, the parents are doing something totally different, using profanity, using, you know, um, bad languages, um, thinking negative, um, raising the voice, yelling and putting a certain title over respect when respect beats over the title of something. Um, people like to put, I'm the parent, so I'm finna talk to you any type of way. You're the child and you respect me. Really, it's supposed to be respect. This person has feelings. This person um, um, doesn't need to be yelled at. It's not right to talk to this person this way. And yes, I am a parent. Or, yes, I am a child, but respect comes first. And you're making it a lot further in life. Like, they're literally telling and teaching your child that they're you're going to be making it further in life doing it this way versus what the parents are teaching them at home. And a lot of people are acting, um, you know, not properly and in, in how to treat other people um, just by being adults and in their everyday life. So, Start thinking about that. You don't always have to, or you shouldn't yell at a good listener because I definitely um, don't need someone to yell at me to tell me this is wrong. Never do this. This is bad. I don't want to see you get in trouble, you know, and things like that. You don't, to me, I'm such a good listener. I listen to everything that people say. If it's something that's very dear to me, um, from a family member or something that I take serious or should take serious, seriously, <clears throat> I don't really need anyone yelling. So, you got the line from Stevie Wonder. Let me read that again. But she said, but she says her love is so much too deep. For them to understand, see, they don't think that people understand them. But you've got good listeners. You decide. You decide. She says her love has been crying out. A person with a heart, a good listener, would know that. But her lover hasn't heard it. Mm. But what she doesn't realize is that I've listened to every word. That's deep. <coughs> That's really deep. Like, I almost cried. I literally almost cried. So, yeah, just think about that, you guys. You don't literally have to... Um, I need to get out of this room because I think there's something going around in this room. <clears throat> But no, seriously, guys, think about that. You don't always have to yell. You sh always, you should never have to yell at anyone. Literally. So um, that's it. I don't have anything else right now. I might be posting something later on today, but I think I only needed two videos. Oh, and another video to explain myself about why I left work.
and um, why I'm not a racist towards Hispanics. Okay, for one, I'm not racist towards Hispanics. I love Hispanics just like any other race, um, but I felt like those two people at work were racist. So because I have to back, I could back myself up and to say the reason why I felt the way that I felt, um, now she's considered me to be a racist. Please, anyone who knows me that that's not even a racist bone in my body at all. If anything, I'm intelligent enough to identify who is acting racist. That's the thing. So you can't backfire anything on me. I know how to back myself up. Peace.